Hi guys, this is Rob from the Exit Light channel. Do me a favour, hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that bell. And if you if you don't mind, um, could you share this video, please? Right, I was going to do a specific video today about um, being very in tune with all things paranormal and and it was going to sort of center center on ufos uh, unidentified flying objects but i actually thought that i would maybe just have a chat um both myself and tracy have both had experiences as far as ufos are concerned and there are videos in a back collection of, of 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 us talking about them. I think we've actually done it twice. I think we've we've talked about it twice. But um the whole paranormal, supernatural, um natural, normal it's a bit of a it's weird because it it's two words that make such a huge part of our lives of people's lives um so much stuff that can't be explained um people who have listened to me a lot and listened to the podcasts that we do will know i have a really really big hang up about science um for the simple reason that i don't believe that they um I don't believe that they are willing to look at the the paranormal part and the supernatural part that that invokes that whole way of thinking. I obviously people who, who listen to us a lot will know that I'm I'm very religious and um, if you read the Bible, a lot of the Bible is supernatural. The whole, the whole thing about Jesus coming back to life, the resurrection, and everything—that is paranormal. That is supernatural. But we don't tend to to dwell on things like that. Um, I've seen ghosts. You have to excuse my phone. Um, I've seen ghosts. And I think that if you are in tune and you are able to believe in, in certain things, you will see. See, it's a bit of a chicken and the egg. It's a bit of it's a, it's a bit of that which came first, the chicken and the egg. Well, if you believe in UFOs or ghosts or whatever, sea monsters, the lot, the lot this monster, the Bigfoot, Jersey Devil, all these things. Is that because you've had an experience, or is that just because of your you're willing to accept something that other people aren't? So there's where the chicken and the egg scenario come into it, and the, my the point I'm trying to make is that if you do believe in ghosts and and things that are paranormal, you're more likely to experience them. Um you're more you're more likely to see a UFO, I think, if you've had experience of seeing a ghost. Now, I don't know the reason why, and I'm probably not explaining myself very well here, but Maybe it's because you're just open more to, to certain things. Maybe it's just the fact that you're willing to think, well, that's not a weather balloon. That That's not a, a, a weird formation of clouds. That is actually a... That is actually a... Um, excuse me. A UFO. That is actually something that's not of this world and in the same breath if you go to a haunted house 
See, the problem is, in my opinion, there's too many programmes on the telly now. And I love Ghost Adventures. It's, it's a standing joke between me and Tacey that I love Ghost Adventures. But I haven't actually watched Ghost Adventures now for a long time. Because I think once you've seen one paranormal show, they're all pretty much the same. Um, and when Ghost Adventures first started, it was groundbreaking. Because it was there was three of them and they would lock themselves away and they would film themselves. They didn't have a big film crew with them, it would just be them. But everybody sort of took on that mantle now. And it's really, really difficult to find something different. And if you do go on a ghost tour or a ghost hunt, you, 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 you've already got that frame of mind that you're gonna um, see something that's not normal. You're gonna hear something that's not normal. You're going to hear bumps and creaks and things like that. But on the same note, if you go in there as a sceptic and you basically just don't believe, then obviously you're, you're never going to believe. You're never, ever going to believe that something that like this could exist. So... The point of this video is, what do you believe? Have you, do you believe because you've had an experience? Or are you one of these people that believes because they are not willing to accept the science's explanation for everything that's got to be proven and it's got to be this and it's got to be that? Are you... Are you able to think outside the box? Um, I would love to know in the comments which which um, camp you're in. Is it you've seen something so you believe and you're willing to accept? Or is it the fact that you haven't seen anything but you're not willing to accept that this is just normal? That life is just, we're just here. And it's just a random chance that um, we exist. Um, so, guys, if you can, I hope you enjoyed listening to me waffle on for a bit. Please um, hit that like button. Um, please comment. That's the most important thing. Um, I want to hear your comments. I want to hear what you think about what I've talked about today and hopefully um, we'll be doing some podcasts soon again me and Chase and we will be back with you soon so anyway guys you all take care of yourself stay safe god bless and I will speak to you all again soon <laughs>